Welcome, I'm Neil Davis. I'm Curriculum Manager for Motor Vehicle and Engineering at Wolverhampton College. So within our department, uh, engineering is broken down into four main areas. So we have our mechanical engineering, which is like design, CAD, machining, uh, manufacturing. We then have a maintenance area, which is looking at robotics, pneumatics, hydraulics, motors, gears, drives. Uh, Fold into that is our mechatronics area as well, which is quite a popular course. Uh, we have our fabrication and weld, which is, uh, as it says, fabrication, welding, a bit of NDT in there, material testing. And then finally, we have our electrical electronics area. So you can look at things like uh, motors, PLCs, electronic devices, three phase motors and drives. So they're the main four areas that we have our apprenticeships and our full time courses in. Still enrolling, we've still got our admissions team working. Um, if anybody would like to apply, you can do it at uh, www.wolfcoal.ac.uk um, or you can search our college uh, website and we've got all our vacancies and our apprenticeships in there. Uh, that goes for full time courses as well. If you're really struggling, you can email me, which is davisn at wolfcoal.ac.uk. work with some major employees around the area and local vicinity so we've got people like Man and Humble, RBSL, Babcox, uh, we work with JLR, we've got our JLR um, NG Management Centre where we do a lot of work with school kids uh, coming through and, and using that facility so we're working closely with a, a number of big companies as well as a lot of small SME companies that we do a lot of work with who take on one, two, up to 20 apprentices so we're, we're working with a vast range of different companies. we've got three ways that you can apply you can uh, directly to the college uh, again we have a number of companies that we use that are looking for vacancies as we speak um, you'll need a cv uh, which we can help you with and then we'll, we'll invite you in to do some diagnostics or we'll do some online diagnostics and then we can recommend you for an interview within companies you can find the company yourself so if you know somebody or know somebody in the, the business uh, that are looking at employing and you can get an apprenticeship through those and then we can help the company and yourself to set up that company, set up the levy or you can look through the National Apprenticeship Service online uh, and see if there's any job vacancies in there and apply directly by the NAS. We still do our online uh, diagnostics, we can still do an online CV and then we can still send it through to our companies. Um, we're still dealing with our apprenticeships, still dealing with our account managers that we have within college who are speaking to companies and, and still working with those to get apprenticeships started in September. And all my staff are working on uh, our VLE, our virtual learning environments, that's either Moodle or we tend to use Google, Google Classrooms more. Um, so each one of my staff set a, a Google Classrooms page up where all my students are enrolled. Uh, there's notes, there's lessons, there's uh, presentations. Uh, in addition to that, we do a Microsoft Teams so we have a, a number of lessons online. Uh, so my staff are online with their students, showing presentations, working through, helping with assignments. Um, so they've been going on since last week. Uh, they seem to be very popular. We've also got a number of resources from our awarding bodies. Uh, they've helped us and downloaded a number of online resources. Things like Electro, City and Guilds have got their own at EAL, where students can go on and, and specifically do some engineering work uh, for their awarding body. We've also got things like our CAD software and our multi-SIM software that we can download for free and students can download to their, their laptops uh, and do work at home on CAD software and multi-SIM softwares as well. 